Hi guys and welcome to The Cook's Pantry. We are on location in my hometown of Noosa and what better way to show off a town's identity than to hit the farmer's market. Let's go and check it out. Trevor, hey, how are you mate? There you go. Good, good to see you mate. Good. Trevor, Cedar Street Cheese, an absolute Noosa Farmer's Mart icon. Now, obviously I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna grab the halloumi, yeah. without a doubt, and have you got any burrata left? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes, it's always a bit of a dicey one, you never oh, know. It's the last bit. We've only just gone past eight o'clock and he's probably about to run out. This stuff is the bee's knees. Here we go, the last burrata. Last, last one, I'll take it. Cool. Beautiful, you're a gentleman. All right, have a good day, mate, cheers. It is springtime here at the Noosa Farmer's Market and what better way to showcase spring than in a beautiful little raw veg salad, pair it with a punchy little coriander dressing and a centerpiece of my mate Trev's buffalo burrata. The one that you sit in the middle of the plate, slice it open and just let it flood open. That's what this one is all about. So I'm just gonna kick it off with the radishes. All of the, the harder, I guess, um, stiffer veg, gonna get them in there, start to dress them and they'll start to break down and just soften up a little bit, which is what we want. And then we'll go in with the softer ones. So just with the radishes, keep them reasonably chunky. You want, you want that texture, you want that bite. You don't wanna shred them up so it's all nice and fine. We really just wanna cut these up, keep it rusty, put it all together, and just let the flavors come through on their own. Next in with the fennel, and like I said, so you've got a couple of, <laughs> couple of bulbs of fennel here, and you always wanna give yourself a flat surface. You can see what happened there, the fennel nearly rolled off the table, and get those nice, nice slices of that happening, and just some beautiful little Dutch carrots, so tips off. If you've never tried it um, at home, if you're making a pesto, keep the tips, throw them through your pesto. It gives you a similar impact to that of um, like baby rocket or wild rocket, just changes it up and also bulks it out for you instead of throwing them in the bin. Just on a different angle, so you've got that textural difference. So you've got some, uh, some nice wedges of radish, little slithers of the fennel, again, Dutch carrots. Set them aside. Now I'm just gonna get cracking on the coriander dressing. So really, really simple. We've just got some beautiful cori that we picked up from one of the stalls back here. Gonna get that into a mortar and pestle and start working that with a little bit of salt, lime, and olive oil. Take the tops. If you don't have the coriander tops at home, if you don't have a beautiful fresh bunch of cori in the fridge ready to go, the roots do exactly the same thing. Get them into your mortar and pestle and start working away at them and you will get some serious coriander flavor. So just to help that grinding process, a little pinch of salt and some extra virgin olive oil. There we go. Now I'm just gonna start to, just to work this and mash it up. So really get the, the salt and the oil starting to break down that coriander. And then when, once we've got that nice dressing paste consistency, we can spike it with a little bit of lime just to liven it up. Okay, so you can see the colour in that oil has gone bright green. That's what you want to do. You want to work that coriander into the oil. You get that nice, thick, viscous dressing happening, and that's going to cling onto all of that veg really, really well. So I'm just going to hit that with the lime. Slice that. Get some nice acidity, and it's just going to liven everything up in that dressing. I'm just going to get that over the top of this veg and start that dressing. So the salt that's in that dressing will start to break down those veg, lose the stiffness out of it. So I'm just going to... Hands in, dress that up. All right, now these blood oranges, we we're very lucky actually, the lady was saying it's the last of the season, so just in time. And now I'm just gonna run the blade around and just take all the pith off. That's where the bitterness is, so we wanna make sure that we've got a beautiful, clean blood orange flesh. So, orange segments. This is a fancy way of doing it, but I find it's much more enjoyable to eat. So we're just in between the segments, just run your knife down one end through the other, meet it in there, and then just pop it out. I find little jobs like this are, are really quite worth the effort because you get the enjoyment out of just getting a pure wedge of blood orange, orange, whatever it is, and you just get all the juice. Look at the juice just dripping out of that in the cells. Now, if you are doing this at home, I sincerely hope you have got a nice sharp knife. That's gonna get the job done for you, but just be careful. Star of the show or the centerpiece, the burrata. So this is from, as I said, my old mate Trev, his burrata, so buffalo burrata. That's the centerpiece, the showpiece. It's right in the middle of the plate. And then I'm just gonna start to build these veg around that burrata. Have a look at this. The texture, the color, the freshness, it's really just got it all going on in this salad. Then you're gonna get that nice creaminess that's gonna come out of that burrata when you crack it open. Absolutely living. Look at that. 
few beautiful segments of the orange. All right, a little bit of orange zest, blood orange zest, I should say, over the top. That smells unbelievable. Macadamias, purely for that, that textural point. You know what you can do with macadamias as well? Again, be careful with your fingers. You don't have to chop them up. If you want it to be really, really light and delicate, just over the top. So that's gonna give you that beautiful, subtle macadamia flavor. You can do this with anything, whether it's a savory, beautiful on desserts. You can even roast them. So you go a little bit darker, get a little bit more flavor happening, a bit more of that macadamia flavor, and then grate them over the top. Spring veg salad. That has just got Noosa written all over it. An absolute celebration of everything that these guys work so hard to make happen and bring to the Noosa farmer's market every Sunday.